Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with Cradler90. I am uh, glad I'm back. Hopefully this replay will hold up and my graphics card won't tank to zero GPUs while I'm recording with the fraps. I am going to bring you <clears throat> a game on mines here. and uh, I'm platooned up with a couple of my uh, new clan members. Uh, we're an evil by design. Uh, they decided to pull out some tier 9 tanks, and I don't. I only have a WZ-120 in tier 9 right now. So I figured I would take out the old Rheumatol, equip that big old 150, and go to work. What I'm going to try and do here is sit up on, you know, up back here in camp, let the bushes conceal my position, and go to work on anyone trying to pop over on this hill. And... This is a bit of a heartbreak game, but it was a fun one to play, even though it's a little slow. You could see heavily tier 10s, or not heavily, but at least a quarter of the tier team is tier 10s. And uh, I, they weren't really paying much attention to me. Either that, or I just remained unspotted. Now, Bardo, Alberto Simpsono, a big, um, what's it called, Simpsons fan, is in his Amex 5120 and Kakadur. There you go. First shot into the 140 and Kakadur is in his. Uh, I think the Waffentrager Panzer IV. Yep. So the big brother of this of this guy right here. You'll notice I'm loading AP. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to slowly pop out of that hill area. They think they have the dominant position, and for the most part they do for most games. And uh, there are two, also, you know, take note, there are two artillery in the game, so I'm going to try and stay pretty much artillery safe the entire time. I think I see this STB-1 peeking out, and another 647 damage into him. So, so far so good. I'm pulling my weight at least. You can see one of our arties are dead already, unfortunately. And I'm just peeking, see if I can't get a shot on some of these guys. I'm sorry I stuttered for a second there because the frame rate dipped. And I got a little nervous. I'm using a OMC mod pack, and I do have the Super Zoom mod installed. So if you see me zooming in more than what you're used to, uh, you know, that's unfortunately the reason. Now the game is not looking great for us already. Well, I guess we pulled it even there. But they still have the hill. We look pretty strong on the uh, north flank. But you'll soon see that that also kind of goes to shit. A lot of people like to use the uh, quicker firing, higher pen guns on the on the Ramatol, but because I already have the Waffentrager and I just have it for fun, I like loading up the old 150. And I'm scoping it around this rock. I still haven't moved very much from this position, and you can say that's that's camping gameplay. But frankly, in a tier 10 game. In this small of a map, I'm going to get lit no matter where I go. So I might as well just camp in the back. And if people are going to come feed themselves to me, that's fine with me. This is obviously not MLG Pro or, or Unicom gameplay. I'm going to try and switch it up a little. Give them a different angle. Come around this side. There's not really a bush here to conceal me. But we'll see how it goes. Also... I don't have six cents on this tank because I removed it for uh, when I moved up the line to the Panzer IV and then finally to the uh, Waffentrager off Panzer uh, off E100. Seeing if I can't hit this T5041, he's behind a rock. But it looks like this IS-6 is poking out, so I'm gonna keep my eye on him. Keep my eye on this Object 7, 907. Not gonna have a shot on him. Not gonna pen it at least. But luckily, that 150 shell just looped right into the IS-6, and I think hit him in the cheek, or penned his uh, frontal plate. I'm not entirely sure. You guys can slow that down and watch it again if you want. So three shots, almost 2,000 damage. Very passive. 
But I'm gonna finish off this 140. Shot goes a little north, but unfortunately for the 140, it doesn't have that T62's, you know, almost impenetrable turret armor. We're losing 4-5. Both my platoon mates are alive. They're playing passively too because, you know, unfortunately, it's mines. And we're in tier 9 tanks in a tier 10 game. Two of us are in tank destroyers. I'm hoping that this 5041 backs out, but I don't think he does. Sorry for some of the replay bugs. You know how it is. Sometimes weird things happen, like the reticle goes in different directions and such. I think I run gun laying drive, obviously camo net, and gun rammer with this thing. And you can see I'm a sub 20 second reload, which is plenty fine for this, this gun. And I'm really zoomed in, seeing if maybe he's peeking out ever so slightly. Still nothing. T49 is has no health, so he's sitting tight. The IS-6 was taken out by our GW Tiger, so I helped whittle him down so that the Tiger could take him out. And uh-oh, I see the T49 starting to make a move on our T125. So I hightail it back at negative 12 kilometers an hour. I'm going to try and save this T-125. If he pens that HE shot, he could kill the T-125. It's, I think, 900 or 950 average damage with a pen. Look, oh, there he is. He's going in. Let it aim. And gotcha. Let's see, the 907 and the uh, IS-7 on the other team are itching for a kill. But here comes the awful panther, and... I think he bounced a round off his tracks, another round he bounced, but he won't escape me that time. Now that our T125 is dead, I really want you to watch the chat as this game progresses, because the IS-7 revealed himself to be probably a 13, 12 year old boy, at least that's what I'm willing to bet. Here we've got an AP round loaded, and I miss. Okay. I'm thinking my time in this game is probably over. They're probably going to rush me. I might get RD'd. I think I'm safe behind that big rock. So I'm loading that heat round just to get a little bit more damage done on this IS-7. And I don't want to hit the tracks. So I try and sneak it into the cheek. And I get him. 736 damage. Pretty good roll. Still below average. Uh, as you can see, I didn't roll... I haven't rolled above the average damage roll yet. And that's something you find often with these high caliber guns. <laughs> Just RNG, but it feels like they underperform. Now, I know he's at 127 health, so I load up an HE round. 150mm HE will be more than enough, I hope, to take him out. Our GW Tiger's doing work. He's at three kills already. And I'm just going to sit in this bush, spot him. Here he is. And that was a lucky shot. Maybe the replay made it look harder than it was, but I thought I had a better shot on him. But anyway, take him out. HE does its job. And commence the butt hurtness by the IS-7. Oh, and Arts 1375 is complaining about it. what he thinks is an unfair mod. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I tend to find that most of the times it's, that's not the case. Some people are just better at the game. So I'm waiting. I know they still got a 907. I think they've got an SU 12254. And me and Alberto Simpson are just discussing over TeamSpeak how to turtle up and hopefully, you know, by some miracle, come out of this game. Maybe I should have been more aggressive. That might have helped. We don't wind up winning this one, but I still. I still think I had a decent, did a decent job in a tier 10 match. Oh, there's the IS-7. I decide to uh, reply with a very passive, you know, message. My platoon and clan mates back me up. It's very nice. And he just replies because I killed him. 
which is fine. At least he's not really getting too crazy. But you'll see, he continues. And I go on and troll him and tell him I forgot I killed him already. Alright, so there goes the arty round probably soon. I have HE loaded still because I thought that everyone was on low health. See, this guy's on hot, you know, decent amount of health. But can't reload now. Now I do wind up hitting him. And I think I take his track off. But he makes it out alive. Still loading HE because I know some of them are unhealthy. And we get a nice track from Barto. And that's kill number five. People really underestimate using HE in this game on any caliber gun. Low health targets, much easier just to hit them with HE. Especially, I know granted I have a very big gun that it usually works. And unfortunately, our good friend Alberto gets artied. At some point, I think I switch back over to either AP or Heat. I've only used one Heat round so far. Oh, the ISM is telling me to lube up. I don't condone cursing and screwing around in chat, so you don't see me really participating in it. But Alberto Simpson can do whatever he wants. He's also, uh, I think he's Dutch and from the Netherlands. So maybe, maybe that's more custom in their area. I finally reload AP, and I'm just waiting for this 54. T54 and this uh, 704 to come basically give me the kiss of kiss of death here. Oh, there's the T54. Don't get a shot into him. I'm over 4,000 damage already. I'm trying to stay safe from Artie. I'm trying to stay by this rock. Nice shot from the Tiger, GW Tiger. He, he doesn't want to get, you know, come out either. I'm sure he's just waiting for his nice little friend to come out as well. If he does that again, I'm going to pop him, though. And I missed, of course. And, of course, here comes the 704. Try and get inside of him. No such luck. Should have loaded heat here. But, you know, there's nothing I really could do anyway. And I thought this would turn, but it's that space armor, and I got taken out. But all in all, I felt like it was a pretty good game. Five kills, 4,000 damage in a tier 10 game. Had fun with my clan mates, and welcome, you know, this is a welcome back to the YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.